in a minute. But I want to read, I want to wear that out a little bit. So, so we got a bunch of people in here and a bunch of different opinions, but what percent do you guys think, and some of you know the answer too, what percent of your crew's time right now is in primary, secondary, or recoverable loss time? Percent out of the total day? Yeah. You, you say we're in I'm John John speaking. So I got I'm gonna put John on out, out here and he's saying primary 60 60 percent okay 40. what you think four in your name Kyle Kyle Kyle's at 40 Jody Alex How about that? Joel yeah 40 50 40 50. Or Which 50? 40, 50. 45. 45. 45. <laughs> Joel, what are you? Yeah. How much? How much secondary? 60. You got no. No. Uh, I'll take that back. <laughs> <laughs> 30. 30. 30. 30. 30. <laughs> Hey, you're you he has to come back. <laughs> yeah. he, he has to come back and rework his math frequently. It's not. It's obvious he's not looking at those three week old class there's, reports. There's guy. <laughs> yeah. I skip my class. I'll say twenty five. You'll say forty five. Twenty five. Twenty five. Can't be forty five. No, I said twenty five. Say twenty five. Twenty five. Same thing single. Just because the hearing aids are there doesn't mean I'm here. <laughs> thirty. Thirty. And you think thirty? And then the rest, this is 20, 15. this is 20, 25, no, 15, thank you. I would, I would hazard a guess that in reality, the important one is the recoverable loss time, and we're probably closer to 45%. So you think, 40%. So you think we're at 45? 40 to 45 on that. 45, I'll say 40. 43! <laughs> So Fails Management Institute did some measurements. Now this is back this is back in the 80s, but I, I can prove to you that we actually haven't changed that much. So there, so Fails was it 41, 26, and 33. So Kyle, you're kind of right in there. We're, we so let, let's talk about that one. <laughs> what do you guys think of that number where fails is saying that primary time 40 percent? Do you guys believe that? I think you got to loop the primary and secondary time together is kind of no 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 no, 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 no. we want to get maximize that number that's the plan we want you get we it. want this one to be back to where kyle was close to zero but right it, there will always be something there and there will always be there will always be a helper involved right because you certainly don't want your carpenter sweeping because then you got your carpenter doing a secondary activity. So something that we do with the guys out in the field, or at least something that me and Jewel practice, uh, is to procure the material beforehand and then have a small uh, debrief or, or conversation about what the job is and how, how we plan on doing it and how that job was bid. And, that, and in return, the material gets there before the guys ever get there. Uh, so then that way things are laid out or they're on site so they're not having to order uh, when they get there. Hit the ground running. You, you got a roll of tie wire there or a box of tie wire, you know, that kind of, but, but you, got, you guys do JHAs on all jobs? 
Say that again, I'm sorry. Jerry H. Jones. Not on, not on every job. Not on, not on, on every, every job. job but good. sometimes, you, you're already doing a JHA. What we would do is the huddle. All right. A friend of mine and I, we were both the same age, and we were always picking on the company general superintendent because he would come in early in the morning, at 4 in the morning, he'd smoke cigarettes, he'd drink coffee, and, and he'd read the plan. And what we didn't realize, he was reading the plans, getting ready for the day. Because mm -hmm. socially, you have to know the drawings better than anybody else. And that was a game we played between all of us that we would, oh, you need to be on detail, what, what, XX, on sheet, whatever. I mean, we mm -hmm. all school ourselves on knowing the drawings. But Bobby would prepare himself. And then the different foreman would come in and spend time with him, sometimes together, and, and talk about the day. And then at a quarter to seven, those foremen were out in their connexes, lining out their crews, having their huddles, so that at seven o'clock, the crews were running. So that, that that crew wasn't involved in a secondary time activity, getting instructions. They were already in primary time. We did the secondary before time started. Yep. And so that they were immediately in the prime, they were headed, which was <laughs> secondary time. They were gathering tools. They were heading out to work, but they weren't waiting for instructions. So we saved five minutes. We saved 10 minutes. That type of huddle in the morning, the huddle is great. Involving the crew is great. Yeah, we, we they do a daily morning uh, game plan. Like, okay, today the expectation is to get from point A to point B in this amount of time, so on and so forth. So I, I think that's very similar. I'll get one later. I'll get it. I'll get it. Anybody else want one? So, so there's different techniques, but, but when I first heard this in the mid, I thought that was stupid. No way. And then as I and let's see what happens to that when we go through our exercise. The other is is you guys are starting to start to think about it. We're all competitive. How can I change this number? Hey, in these two number, what's the balance of these two numbers? You're already starting to think, and that's the advantage of this tool, is you're already trying to figure out how to pull the minutes forward to get more minutes in primary time and, and, and zero minute. You'll never hit zero, but get less here. It seems to me the new work time is always longer than the initial time. So it seems like for every point that you could add here, you're gonna duck, well, not mathematically, but I mean, you're gonna duck two from your rework time. See what I'm saying? So if I take, if I take, three here, put two here and put one here, it's all still positive. Right, I mean, just be, it, reworking always takes longer than doing it right the first time initially. Oh, there, there's that the too, timing, because I timing. go to pl replace that header, I gotta go, I gotta set gotta my saw, out. I gotta, gotta get, yeah. What, yeah, yeah. That's why it's important not to leave that chamfer bad cut mm -hmm. for punch list after the painter and everybody else is done, because then it's even that mm -hmm. more. We need, before this room, I leave this room, Alex needs to walk up with me and we need to agree, ah, oh, shit, I need to fix that and I do it right now. And not tomorrow, not months from now. That, 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 that way you're trying to have a zero punch list. And, that, and that's part of that. Is, is, and also too, that's pulling that punch list into real time. Inspections are the same. Yes. Well, the inspection occurs with me and Alex. Yeah. Now let's say we miss it. And you come by as the general superintendent and it, you, we, we're going to be at a disadvantage because some general su superintendents aren't going to catch that or even, even if they do see it, they're not going to say, oh shit, we'll get that a punch list. Different philosophy than what the Tucker organization's got. So we're talking about recoverable lost time. We talk about, we've already covered that. So as Fails looked at this number, 
they felt that you could get rid of 70 or 80 percent of it. So, so if we talk, uh, we should be able to reduce it down to um, seven, seven times three would be 21. We ought to be able to pull 21 out of there and, and put that 21% up there. Does that make sense? And again, I've already covered this, but it's all about us, us as managers, how the process we use, the process we use in the field, the process we might be forced to use in the field might generate negative numbers. The scheduling, the materials, the construction, the communication fails, identifies communication as one of the key elements. So just to put that in perspective just a little bit, that's 91, I think no, 88 employees, 25 bucks a man hour is $21,500 in a 10 hour day, you know? So we reduce that by what? How many hours are we pushing to? If we, if we change it by 10%, by 10%, we just, we just $2,000 a day, right? Working 200. 45 days a year. I'd get, I'd get John to buy us a bunch of beer, fella. That's a half a million dollars. Communication. What happens if Alex, I'm in here doing my trim work, and he doesn't tell me the next thing I need to do is to trim in the building next door? I have a time. Man, I'm, I'm over here in secondary time. No, I'm in recoverable loss time because I'm waiting for instructions. Now, I'm, I'm over 60, and he tells me, and I forget. And he's got to come tell me I'm cooling my heels, goofing off. That's another. Then, then I get laid off. <laughs> yeah, it's not working out for us. <laughs> <laughs> planning. Planning is the key. Take it down. We as managers have to plan more. Project managers and superintendents have to work together earlier to develop a plan, that global plan, that macro plan, and then when you get to the craftsman, the micro plan, the daily planning, and communicating that plan is extremely important. That's the second big key. Planning is the first key. The second key is the communication of the plan. So we're gonna get into watching some videos and, and and do some some work and and we got a crew of five guys putting in a retaining wall and uh, we got one guy that's that's cutting uh, the fabric to put on top of the gravel to tie the wall back in um, we've got one guy that's running the unloader and moving moving the gravel the bulk the bulk of the gravel to behind the wall, and then we've got three guys working at, at behind the wall, and, and let's work through that. Um, so, and, and I, wanna, I wanna walk you through that, and bear with me as I struggle with my screen. So here's our guy on the chop saw. Is this, is this, uh, secondary. what is this, primary, secondary, or recovery? Primary. Second, secondary. secondary. Why do you consider it secondary? It's supported action. It's supported? It's supported by what he's building. We that's assume he's cutting primary. that for somebody to put in place. That's right. Unless he's doing it himself. It, it might be, he's cutting it, he's putting cutting it in it place. Down. We don't know. Yeah. We don't know. But he's cutting. Mm -hmm. But is he doing it for the first time or the second time? He's doing it for the first time because he had a big roll, he was rolling it down. And, and the whole time we were there, I think he did, was that's all he was doing, was cutting. Mm -hmm. He's in secondary time. It's secondary time. That's primary, because primary. he's building something. He's <coughs> cutting something to link for the project, right? He's not primary. putting it in place. So, is he putting work in place? That's, that's, 
Well, see that secondary maybe maybe supporting role. He's a That's supporting right. role to the, the primary activity, which is finishing the wall. To to me, if he was carrying it over to put it in, that would be primary time because he's not he's not putting the work in place. Yeah. He's cutting the material. Prep it. Now he is doing doing something. He is he's okay. cutting all of it right now. He's not cutting a piece, carrying it over, walking back. He's all he's doing is cutting. Mm -hmm. So a percentage of that same man's time, if he's doing both activities, he could be a percentage of in primary at one point and then secondary at another. So if you, because right. to me it's it's not primary because he's not putting it in place. And I see where you're, maybe if you. Yeah, it's one of those things where I see it like, okay, well, okay, so say so he just carries it over there and puts it in place, it's not the right length. Well, that's. It's very unlikely for that guy cutting to be the guy placing his will. No, I get it. I get it. But I didn't know how micro we're getting now. But to me, we're taking a very, very small. Uh, uh, there's, there's not many tasks that have to be completed to do this wall. That's why we're starting with the wall. Okay. It's just a. <clears throat> That's kind of why I was asking if it was a billable thing because we can't bill for him doing that, but we can bill for him for someone putting it in the. Does that make sense? Yeah. No, you're building for the whole eight hours. Are you not? Well, see, understand, then but I can't, I can't build a customer because he cut that. Because he's not completing the task. You can't build a wall if he yeah. doesn't cut it. Mm -hmm. So, you, okay. to my mind, you would. Okay. So now, now if he, if he left here to go, to uh, go get, go get lunch for everybody else, or if he left here because he had to go to the doctor or had to go to school and get his kid and take his kid home, that, that. He's not getting paid. Well, if he's getting lunch for everybody, he is. But you know, but but, but my point, is, Jeremy he is going to put in eight hours. Okay. And so we're, we're taking a snap. We're, we're, we're taking a we're, snapshot we're, here. This is our second observation. Okay. So we're billing for time, but we're evaluating the use of the time. We're evaluating the use of the time. Okay. So, so this is this is our snapshot, and. And I didn't, uh, Lewis tried to send me the video he took of the other, and, which would be helpful. But in this case, we got one operator, he's got a stockpile over here that's not very far away, and he's, he's placing the gravel right now. So is that operator in primary time or secondary time? Secondary time. Why, why you, you he's say it's secondary? He's moving no. resources. What's that? The guys on the ground are putting the material in place. So you, you're he's saying just, the operator is secondary time? Right. Everybody the guys, agree? The guys on the inside mm -hmm. the floor are actually grading it and putting it in place. The, the guys that are on Jody, the shelves. Jody, 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 I say it's primary time. Yeah. It's so primary. You, Jody, Jody, right now at this point in time, he's, he's putting the gravel in place. So I would, I would, Besides, as a superintendent, you always agree with the superintendent. So, but so I think I think for now, for this moment, he's in primary time because that that rock where he's putting it is staying there. Right, it's the final place. So that's so yeah. he is putting it in place, John. And I don't want to argue, but you know, I do. Belabor the I point. Do. <laughs> <laughs> but if, those, if those other guys weren't there and he just dropped that rock in place and left. Okay, so then he'd just be piling material and it wouldn't be in place. And that's the craftsman part of that has been is gone. So I know it seems so odd let, for the let's, laborer to let's, wait, the let's wait 15 seconds. I don't have a picture, but what happens in 15 seconds? He turns around and goes to get more. So let's let's do another category uh, okay. in 15 seconds. Our our chop saw guy is still in secondary time. In 15 seconds, he's he's, he's backing in out. To good, so is he in primary time? No, he's just secondary. there because he's he's moving materials. Hopefully, for the first time, so that the snick and sap shot, he's in secondary time. So the guys with the shovel right now, they're in idle time, and then as soon as he turns, as soon as the skid steer goes into secondary time, they go into primary. That's right. Wow. Right. This is one big revolving in circles. What that is. So really, there. 
Oh, you're talking about the guys one and two or second. There's a guy in the um, back down there. It doesn't look like he's doing anything. Well, all three guys <laughs> off the skips here right now are in out time because they're all just waiting for him to dump his load. The, the reason I, I that guy in the back was the white <laughs> dude that's only been on the crew for the second day. So give him a break. But he's definitely in recoverably lost. <laughs> Not Say louder for the ones in the back. <laughs> <laughs> Is that shovel being used? So it can't be primary time. Well, the one in the sand's being used, but that's just to hold him up. <laughs> so, so we got three idle guys. So our, the picture we have right now is we. Do we have anybody in recoverable loss time? Yeah. Say all the guy in the all back. Three of them. All three on the ground. Three yellow, man. So John thinks the new guy should be in recoverable loss time. What do you think? Unless he's learning something. In that snapshot right there, there's three guys in. I'm watching time. the rock getting dumped. Well, I mean, they're also signaling the guy, hey, man, that's enough rock. Scoot over. Yeah. So so should these three guys be in recoverable loss time? I would say maybe just the third one. The, 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 two, the two by the bucket are probably, like you said, directing, giving. If it's classified as giving instruction, then we can classify that as for secondary earlier. Okay, so in our minds, let's go 15 seconds later. The operator's moving material, and we got two guys in primary time. Unless that shovel gets picked up. We have three guys that are in primary. Well, how far away is he from that? He could be reworking the material. They're, they're going to be behind by the time. Yards yards it's it's like, like, I mean, it's, 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 this is open to interpretation like, a thousand <laughs> different ways. <laughs> right. So, so, so you're right. Like that. So, so to speed up the discussion, let's say that, that if you think about it, he moves off. The two guys, can, can a third guy actually get in there and contribute? Mm -hmm. There's not enough room, especially a fat ass like mine. There's nobody can, I mean, so we're going to place that guy in recovery. So out of our crew of five, you know, we got each guy's worth 20%. So, so as we look here, we got 20% in recoverable and in Secondary 40, time, we've 40%. got we got 20, 20, and 20. So in, in secondary time, we've got 60%. Yeah. Oh, man. And in primary time, we got 20%. Yeah, and so we come over here and we got we got 20% in secondary, 20 in secondary, and then we got Primary, we got 20 and 20. So we got 40 and 40 and 20. So the we're at, so if we go to, to number one, we're at, we're at uh, six, we're at 20, 60, and 20. And example number two, 40, 40, 20. we're at 40, 40. We're at 40, 40, 20. That's average. That's just this snapshot in time. It's funny because with the mechanical advantage, even though it's separated out that way, you're getting a lot more actual primary time done in the first scenario because of the machine than you are in the second one. So then, I disagree. You're wrong. <laughs> you, you. No, the superintendent's right. <laughs> so let's come to the third bullet. What happens if we adjust, if we look at these numbers, at this point in time, our operation have has generated this type of data. Because here's the other thing. We just saw that with one picture we could get two two concepts. We're only you guys are not in the whole picture. You can't see all that's going on, but, but you can imagine you know how how quickly things change and evolve. Maybe maybe the third guy 
is, is waiting for, for more of the fabric to get cut because in a minute he's going to start installing fabric mm -hmm. and, and he'll be busy putting down fabric the other guy's still cutting fabric and and then we got the other mix mm -hmm. it, it changes our numbers totally and, and and this is part of why it's important for our craftsmen to understand this concept so that they're standing there and they're going to say hey hey the new guy he's we need to figure out what for him to do we want to absorb him into our group and maybe we're training him so that one of the more experienced guys isn't smooth and gravel he's overrunning fabric because things things changed while we were standing there watching but my point is, what happens if we train the craftsmen to, to intuitively start to understand this? <coughs> and and they'll, they'll start making subtle changes to affect these numbers. Because we're talking now, if, if, our, if our new guy gets better training, he's going to pull out a recoverable lost time. And so that our new guy becomes is becomes secondary time slash primary time, and and num number two he goes off to start hypothetically start putting in fabric, which becomes primary time primary time, and then and then number one is secondary time primary time. And then our operators' primary time, secondary time, and, and our guy cuttings. For, for now, let's just let it be equal, easier, so that so that as we look at our crew and we start to put these together, here's here's twenty, here's here's uh, twenty twenty, here's twenty in primary. Mm -hmm. Now. I'm making things too hard. Yeah, this is 50, 50, 0. Um, so let's let's go secondary. We're we're 20, 20, 20. We got we got 60 in, in secondary time, and and we've got 20 and 20. We got 40 in primary time, and we got zero in recoverable loss time. And then in the second group, we've got. Primary, primary, primary. We got 60 in primary and 40 in secondary and zero in recoverable. And, and, and that crew could probably work that way. Maybe the operator's got to go get a bundle of fabric to bring it over. That's certainly more expeditious, which interrupts the other. And, but it's always fluid. It's always fluid. But if we can change things here to where to where we're at we're now at at, at 40, 40 and 60 and then and then uh, 60 and 40 and, and 40 and zero and zero. So for the, for the snapshot we just and they, they made some adjustments while we were there. We didn't talk to them, we didn't tell them what we were doing. And 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 we can watch the video. Um, I'm at the end of this. Let's let's go watch. Let's go watch this video. So here we're watching the three guys, and if you see one's in the back doing something, the operator's talking to them a little bit, 
and the two are doing moving gravel. This I didn't click on the video. I thought I clicked on which one's it? It's 98 or 99. So that's, that's where we're watching the crew. And the whole time on this video here, let me get up there so I, I can't. So we got two one on gravel and one trying to run gravel. So the, our new guy is trying to understand what's going on. Whole time over there, he was cutting fabric, and um, they did they did adjust things after the videos to where one guy fell off to doing something else. I couldn't, I didn't go down and look to see where he's going, but they even adjust. He was sitting under the road break. He's, we moved is, one is he back? under the road there. Yeah. Sitting break. So <laughs> that, that would be a primary time activity. Yeah. So at that point, we'd be in that 60, 40, zero range with our crew. So it is fluid. It constantly changes. Now we've got... We got a couple other videos, and and if you just practice, you guys in the field, if you just practice a little bit, um, these guys are working fast. Mm -hmm. That's all primary time there. Who's here with that? Oh, Jim. I'm sorry, guys. Bear with me. The 20-year-old iron workers. There we go. The pump operators in primary time. All right. So now I, I can just move the cursor. This is a little bit harder. So I'm not dealing with my laptop, and there's a lag between my finger moving in the screen. In the screen. So what the guys do, like the millennials in the group and Stephen, they actually look at the screen and make the adjustment and then look back up the TV. Well, camera. when we did that, <laughs> when we put it on my screen, it, yeah. it fragmented. Uh. Man, a lot of money in a beer pot. There we it's go. Nobody from Tucker. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Come on. He's about the first round of the world. So, <laughs> what I saw here, things were a little bit harder, and and we all can look at and imagine. I'm sorry for this. You know, as we look at, as we do a concrete pour. You know, there are times, in this case, you can see the finishers standing there. The mop man on the left was working, but the straight edge, nobody's been over the straight edge, it's idle. But we've all been there. We know there's times where you're figuring things out. Uh, I don't see anybody really cutting mud. There's one guy sort of cutting mud, the other guy's resting. There's three mud cutters. Um, then there's guys in the background finishing edges and stuff like that. So it, it's a little more complex. And then 
the whole idea about um, it keeps evolving, and you gotta you gotta really study. You know, it's, in this case, the straight edge is in the air, and and we got at least two guys. I don't know if we got a guy vibrating or not, um, or if the vibrator guys are up with the pump guy. It, it just you, you concrete four days are a little bit more tricky to assess. Well, and you know, because there's a lot of variables, a lot of people that it's like, man, we need two more people here just in case two people don't show up, or we need to, you know, we need to have a guy at the pump, or we need to have a guy that, you know. Well, in that case, we're, we're pouring those ramps, and that took a lot more labor than yeah pouring at top. Right. <laughs> I think when you're placing forms and placing rebar and you'll start to see us out there doing some time lapse video and some, some shorter seg segmented video. And we're not, it's not a policing kind of big brother, big stick kind of thing, but it's just an opportunity for us to come in here. Ultimately, we want to learn the idea of this to be able to present it and teach it to the guys out in the field so they can take it, start using it competitively to become better, you know? And Cause, cause I see you three tomorrow you're not going to walk, are you going to try, you, you try to use this and, and start thinking about it and, and just just trying to think about how do we reduce recoverable lost time alone. Yeah. Forget about trying to move things from secondary to primary. Yeah. If we can just affect recoverable lost time and, and, and let's recognize we're taking, we're taking a moment shot on the guys on the retaining wall and there's in an eight hour day, there are other activities that are going on. Well, across you know? the whole crew. I mean, we eliminate, if it is 20% across the whole crew, you're talking about 172 man hours per day. You know, that's a huge number. That's a whole nother crew, you know? Which means we can go do another job with that crew. Yeah, a whole other job. Which that's what I was kind of getting at earlier when I was saying looping in primary and secondary. Like when I when you first explained this to us before, I was thinking of the primary as the best possible use of time, secondary is the second best use of time when the problem is lost. Whereas even though yes, primary is installing a final product, secondary time is just as valuable to the installation of that product. You know, because you have to have it. It's not like you're just ever gonna you have it. You have to have the helper right. with the car because you certainly don't want yeah, but your thirty-five dollar carpenter cleaning up dirt and debris or moving materials that a fifteen or twenty dollar guy can do. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You know that's just that's just common sense. But but to keep that primary guy all that primary pay guy always in primary time. Well, recoverable loss is the same thing we talk. It's just waste. Right. Same thing we talk about the subgrade and percentage of yield on concrete and, you know, it's just waste. That's what we're always trying to mitigate, trying to curtail is waste. Is there a, is there a, uh, a ratio relationship of those three numbers that, that gives you the, the best yield of productivity? You know, because at some point if you're, if you're 60% primary time and 30% secondary time, is that really as good as, see, I think it were a little bit different. I don't know if I ever got, I, I got in my notes that we can reduce recoverable lost time, not get rid of it absolutely, but Dave Willis, my notes say 20 to 80% of this, so, or 70 to 80%, so that means we could move 21% up here, and, and that would leave 12% in recoverable lost time. Mm -hmm. And maybe maybe that could be uh, 24, that, that could be nine to 12% would be, would, to me, this, this would be, a, at this point in time, optimal. Yeah. I guess my question, yeah, I had another, my question goes further to state, 
how much secondary time supports good quality primary time? I, I think that depends there on has to be a the number issue. that's relative. Or it wouldn't I mean, you're con it's a constant moving target. I'm, and that's what I'm saying, but there, at some point there's a... It's going to be an optimal There's an optimal number that correlates. to yield it. The optimum is to keep that recoverable loss time as low as possible. Yeah, because, right. because certain tasks require a lot more secondary time than others. 38. I, I just, if we move 21% and I just arbitrarily pick 14 and 7, um, one, two thirds and one third, that gives us around 50% and around 40% up here. Maybe, maybe, I, I think it depends. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're doing, if you're doing a mat of rebar. Well, if you're thinking of any, I'm oh, sorry, but if you're th yeah. also thinking about rate of pay, you know, yeah. what we call, who we call, well, I'm you could all, like, you could you could very clearly see, you know, like th these guys should be. Th and of the ten man crew, we have four guys that are getting paid more that should be mainly working in primary, right. and these other six are all supporting roles to that. Right. You know, I'd say that most of our crews are built probably with four good guys, four high paid guys, four second tier paid guys. Okay. You know, and then two just straight laborers. So that's kind of how I see that breakdown. If the ten man people, you probably forty. 60 is I think 60% of your time is going to spend in second. Year. So that's what I mean by the moving target, depending on how that crew is built. Uh, I know I realize that's moving, but part of that secondary time is idle time for planning, construction, communication. Rooney spends all of his time in secondary time okay. as a foreman. Most foremen spend more time in secondary time. There's no doubt about it. Right. Yeah. Okay. right. Yeah. The names kind of lend to uh, one's more important than the other when it's not necessarily that way. No. And it may not be a number that's worth anything, but I was just curious if there was like a golden number that you tried I, I think I think we're going to find that for Tucker construction, that different activities will have different percentages. That some things that are pure production, drilling piers, there's nothing pure about that. There's going to be a lot of recoverable lost time in piers. Yeah. Um, but you got to have that crew there. You can, but if you get into, say, the wall forms at the central plant, you get into the rebar in the walls, stuff like that, you can, you can, you can really make well, this work. On a pier, you're drilling, you're drilling, you're standing there watching it get drilled. You're removing spoils. What is that? Recoverable loss time? I mean, you have to move it. Well, it's put, <laughs> so that, it's like so that it could be clean. considered primary time because you're moving it. Yeah. You know. Anyway, it's you're not really getting much production out of moving dirt, but and, 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 then, and then you got and it's kind of like the sky track. It's I mean, a idle until you move What is edge. what is uh, go ahead, Joe. What is production on a pier? Just Consider just placing the concrete in the hole. I mean, and drilling it. You got well, some. right now, you're, you're, Jeremy. Correct me here, but you're looking at a crew that's there for a day yeah. for the whole activity. Yeah, yeah. You know, to, and then, it, so I don't want to throw you under the bus. But, I mean, the main thing you're trying to Limbeck, do is drill as many piers in a day as you can. <laughs> but at Limbeck, we'd have, we'd be counting the pier spoil that got moved. And that operator would be counted as his own little activity, and we'd code him to his own activity. The rebar cage would have its own activity, the including getting it to the hook, um, placing that we would place the concrete because then we'd go drill something else. We'd come over and place, and we'd direct shoot it so that those two laborers, three laborers involved there, usually the foreman and two laborers, those. But those guys are idle. If they're not placing concrete, they're out of the day. Yeah. You know. So the, are they in recoverable lost time? No, we gotta have them at one o'clock because that's when concrete starts. So do you find something else? I mean, to me it most it your recoverable lost time is the worst part of it is if you have to go back later and redo or fix something. There's no doubt. I mean, yeah. trying to do it right the first time is the main 
it, yeah. thing yeah. to me. Yeah. Yeah. That activity, same bad. I was thinking about when you have to go back and do something, like you have to go back to fix something, you have to set a format screw back. That's all recoverable all the time, right? Well, like you're talking it about. Doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a demo. Like you're something. talking about <laughs> anchor bolts having to go back and re-drill or re-drill anchor bolts. I mean, I'll just say this: on a hundred percent recoverable. All Rudy's time. crew, we've done. Don't say it. Okay. Also, I've done a great job. We're good. They haven't screwed up any anchor bolts yet. Seriously. Over like six or seven jobs, we placed thousands of anchor bolts, and we. <laughs> Steven's playing with fire today. Man, I'm telling you, y'all are. All right. I'm here. I'm getting, getting called about thirty minutes. I'm getting credit <laughs> to other people here. So I didn't mean. Oh, to put we've got accused of us putting them in the wrong place. Oh, that's just that's <laughs> the way I look at over it. Over South Campus Road, the right place. So, so, so I'm bidding here. Okay, I know I need so many hours of recoverable lost time. A percentage. There, there are going to be times where you can't go in there and try to pay a couple more. I've got to tell them to both off. So there's got to be a number. I never will. So far, what I do, I was going regular bills. I would have a lot more spring time, oh, man. That, which would be put more in place. Right. And then I would, but I didn't need the whole crew. And I'd have, I'd have eight, oh, no, 40, 12 print times, six, six uh, welding, 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 elevator, beams, welding, putting a stair, maybe on the primary time of this one is steel. And the crew would be smaller to balance because I needed all 18 guys to put the rebar in and eight hours. So that, so that by finding another activity, you you're off the prizes. Well, that way you can throw it out. So, so that's where I wanted to end the day at 2 o'clock, in which exactly where we all are. Um, and, and what I want to do is, 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 is I, I really appreciate the opportunity. I'm excited about what we're doing. I know we covered a lot of stuff paperwork-wise this time, but we left things open. We didn't close the door and fully cover some of the documents. I think we get into ACI 336 on drilled piers. I can show you how that how an ACI document works and how that leads you to the documents. Um, what I'd like to do, we go to talk about 336, is is get you guys to have copies of the research that's behind 336, so that you could read it and we could have a conversation about it and. And, and later, when you're over there arguing with the PNC guy, FPNC guy, you're not arguing, you say, well, here, here's where we're coming from, slump. How do we talk about, because the other part of slump is there's an ACI spec has language in there. It says, unless otherwise specified, contractor will provide the slump, which means that if the engineer record writes four inches on the wall, it's otherwise specified. Mm -hmm. But the engineer record doesn't quite, our industry doesn't quite understand he long, no longer needs to do that. And I, I'd like to talk about slump tests. We just had the anniversary of the of Duff Abrams developed a slump test a hundred years ago and, and published it and, and show you those documents. I mean, it. The, the original was a straight cone, and a year later he had the, and it hadn't changed. It, and, and he was using it, uh, he was using the term, um, if I remember right, it was workability, was the term he used. And he was, and, and he already equated that you have to make the concrete workable, but you can't have too much water because then you lose strength. Mm -hmm. He didn't have the ability to put, put in the science we got now. You know, the joke was in the 60s and 70s is better living through chemistry, thinking about acid and things like that. But now it's better concrete through chemistry. <laughs> well, that's a new one. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> not that one. That's hilarious. Did you catch that? 
Yeah. 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 He's pulled up those old jokes. What's that? That's that really has a good comeback, has like it? Oh, that's, that's a quarter. That's a quarter. All right, guys. Any other questions? I would like some feedback at some point. Uh, we've got Christian as our focal point. Um, and, uh, but I would like, I'd like to know more. What, what else, what do you want to recover? And then what else do you want to go into more depth for, for next month? And, and we'll go from there. I've got, and, and I was worried I didn't have enough PowerPoint. So I've got six ACI PowerPoints right here ready to go. If I had, I could, I could go for another three hours. Well, I, I enjoy the I enjoyed watching the connectivity from the the building codes all the way through ACI and how that relates to design and how that relates to the constructability and means and methods kind of aspect of that. I I, I think that I'm probably the worst. I should probably know more about ACI. And I probably know you know the least just because I don't like to read. Um, but I, I'm I'm excited about the opportunity to learn all that. Um, I think it is going to help. I think that a lot of the chaos that is created is because we're listening to people that don't necessarily know. They're just regurgitating something they heard, whether it's true or false. That's what that's we're having to live by their expectation. And I think for us to be at a higher level of education, to be able to you know help them. I think your story on the redwood is 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 a good story to tell, and mm -hmm. that's what we need to do. If we need to become. We need to do that with free fall. We need to do that with slump. We need to, we need to cherry pick those things and, and make those changes. I'd like to I want to do this publicly, throw you under the bus, but somebody in this group could join ACI and that would give you the, the membership discount for some of these documents. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to buy them all now because they're all kind of expensive. But if you buy the manual concrete practice, you don't, you could might be, by the USB, and that would that way you could print stuff, mm -hmm. or but the, just depends on what you can buy both the hard copy and the USB if you want, um, pretty reasonable, and that way for you guys in the field, you you could, hey, I could go read the committee on pumping and go read what it says about pumping. You know, I'm getting ready to do lightweight and pump. I could go read about lightweight concrete. I could go read about pumping lightweight concrete. To, there's, there are so many committees. There's 9,600, or, or counts down, but there's 9,600 members of ACI. And there, there'll be 2,000 people in Orlando at the end of March at the, at the convention sitting around a table like we were here talking through these documents and making changes and resolving building consensus and voting but you could we could benefit from having it there's no doubt and then access and, to it. and if you want something I'll, I'll i'll buy it and get it to you that's no big deal you know but 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 you could somebody else could join in that we were, we were members, but Brady's a member through Tucker Concrete. But, <clears throat> but the other group is the American Society of Concrete Concrete, and that's a little more expensive. That That's a firm thing. You, I think that's 2500 So that, that's a, something you'd have to think about. That was the journal that we distributed. I've got some other stuff I want to I'll send you. Okay, what else? Thanks for your time. I appreciate it. Glad to contribute to your library. Well, you're welcome. All right, guys. We'll be coming in next time on Thank you. time.